Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gander Who here and welcome to more Let's Play Splatoon! In the last episode, well, in the last video we covered the Splatter Junior Which I'll be moving on to the next weapon The Wiggle Old Splatter Shot Yes, the good old Splatter Shot The average of all average weapons so Let's jump straight in in do turf so I'm just gonna include you here back in skipper pavilion I believe yep so we got two splash shots a calm roller and a charger they have something <laughs> they're cars apparently so yeah the splash shot Exhale, this weapon comes with a burst bomb, and it's special is the splashdown, which I talked about last video. You unlock it at level 2, it costs 900 coins to purchase, its base damage is 35, its ink consumption is 1% per shot, and special points, and the points needed for a special is 170 points, its range is 50 out of 100, damage weight, damage is 45 out of 100, and its fire weight is 60 out of 100. Oh, then there's Splashdown in action. So yeah, Splash Shot. Here's your typical average shooter. It has average range, average fire weight, average everything. It's purely average. So if you're kind of middleman, then... You know, it's decent covering turf, it's decent getting kills. Okay, it's it's painfully average. That's all I can say. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Splash down? No, he avoid it. Personally, I don't think the splash down is really that good because people can easily avoid the splash downs easily. Oh, oh, this guy wants to do this good party. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yep. Oh, uh, that's, that's worse. Half the team is consistent of L's players. Well, they're gonna get get most of the map control and all. So yeah, it's painfully average. And you know me, I like a one that has fast fire weight, really. I don't really care if it's range or whatnot. So yeah. But da, but da, but da. I still love the satisfying shots of being, being potted out of the gun. Bow. Just good old paint wars. Not sure we're gonna win this or not. Oh, for your bomb. Give the same guy too. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got burst bonds. I don't think burst bonds are helpful and good as they were in the first game. Okay, one then, but now I got spared by the Nautilus. What the heck's a Nautilus? Well, new weapon, and we're in the danger zone. Yeah, we lost this. We lost this. Size splash up, we are too painfully average of covering turf. Yeah, the fact that you got two birds in the map control. Ugh. Okay, uh. Why are we there? I don't know. Honestly, who bring charges to a turf while we try to suck a covering turf, so I don't know. Next match is always. And uh next weapon I'll be using is the Hibble Shot Replica. It's pretty much just a wee skin of this blast shot, so there's nothing nothing we really much to talk about about really. Um, just see if I can say anything about this weapon that I haven't said already. You lock it level 2 as well, and it costs 1,500 coins to purchase. You know, and in order to unlock this level, you basically gotta beat every level in Octo Canyon with the hero shot. What's that? And then you got 5 points. I don't get. I went through the trouble to unlock these 
hero bands with these weapons weapons here, and I still gotta pay for them? What the hell, Sheldon? I bought half these. Should I get it for free? Whatever. At least the hero shot charger and wall replicas are no longer locked to me anymore, just locked to the Octocay in. And that guy still wants to keep fighting, apparently. But, but we, it's just a weird skin of the flash or like I said in the first game. Hi Charger, you're not really doing a good job. Okay. Uh, there we go, I'm doing pretty good actually. Okay, got Booyah Bond going out. Doing pretty good. Yeah, they had no chance of winning. Simply because they got a squid pie on their team. Now what squid pie is, just that you want to do that. Make sure everyone wants to do it. You know, script pies are best held in five battles, or the way I can complete control. Turf Wars is okay, but no script pie in rank battle, Why? Right? Why would you want to just... Anyways, we got a Booyah Bomb going. Oh, someone's coming through here. Okay. Oh, nope, over here, over here, over here. Come on. Uh, oh, Stingway. Yeah, that's that's a new special too, the Stingway. I think I talked about it already in the Octo Canyon part of Let's Play. It, all it is, especially just a weaker version of the Killer Whale, that's all it is really. In fact, the Stingway play was so weak at the beginning with the least of this game. Oh, for fuck's sake. We disconnected for the match even ended. Thanks a lot, game. Well, that's why I say that we're winning the match, so. Whatever, next match here. We got a Lunar Blaster, an Octobrush, and. What is that? Splatling? I can't even tell. Anyways, now I'm using the, the Tentatex Splatter Shot. And since Nisukas aren't a thing anymore, we now have an Ink Jester Special instead. With it. With spat bomb, yay! Now to see what the uh, tenor text all about. Just gonna find its page on Wikipedia. Here we go. You unlock this. You unlock the tenor tech at level four. It costs two thousand one hundred coins to purchase, and special and the points you need special is two hundred and ten points. So yeah, I. I don't really like the turn attack, honestly. Then again, didn't really like it to be 2 1, but. Yeah, Inkjet. I understand that in the white. Do we know why you're lo losing with the Inkjet? It can be a really good special, but. Here's my main plot on the Inkjet. The Inkjet, it's just a, a crap special unless you practice hours and hours for it specifically in order to. That it works. Basically, the Inkjet, much like his cousin, the, his brother, the Inksuka, it's a special that's not we really that accessible, which honestly sucks. These, special, these specials are supposedly like temporary power warps. So why aren't they accessible? I don't know, but hey. Oh, cool, I got splat at least. So most of the time I'm just blind when I'm looking for opponents firing blindly honestly because I don't know how to do this thing. Again, I think it should have a faster fire rate and a longer range honestly to make it more accessible. I don't care that wounds the meta. Meta honestly, I don't care about this stupid meta. That's what rank is for! And we're sucking in, my, my teammates aren't really Game most of map control here, and I think, yeah, we're losing danger. Man, this isn't looking pretty good. Um, 
Is it because someone disconnected? Okay, no, no one, no one disconnected. My tears are just doing Paul Joe playing Max Joe. Let's see. Back to Sailor. Let's see how long it takes before I get splattered. Hello? Anyone? Hmm. It's possible that we can get a comeback? Let's see. Okay. Ooh, killed the last second. Okay, um. Hmm. Did we get a comeback? No, they they clearly won. They're like five percent more tough than us, so Yeah. Again now it's just a plum. I blame I blame the Lunar Blaster. Yep, still hate Lunar Blasters. I still think Lunar Blasters still suck. Anyway, let's go to change my weapon again. As uh, so the next spell we're gonna be using is the Octo Shot Whip Lakar. Yes, this is still here. It's basically just a wee skin of the turn text splash or as before. Hex, she's using the exact same weapon. So let's see. So what's different with the Octo Shot side being black in that? Well, I could s mm. Well, you. Well, I don't why you you. you yeah, I can't speak. Well, I don't why you don't have to reach level 40 in order to unlock this weapon anymore. In order to get the Octo Shot replica, all you gotta do is beat Octo Expansion. And that's it. Just. Get all the four fangs, do all the phases, beat the final boss, and there you go, you got the off the shot replica. So in other ways, pay for the DLC! Yay! I guess I guess you could say this weapon is locked behind a paywall. <laughs> uh, but But really, it's just a weapon. It's just the same thing as Tenetic Splash, so you don't need to worry about it. I think you only buy for the Octo Splash, you want to play as Octolanes, really. And of course, for the much harder single player camp, but anyways. This is not going pretty good either, my. We've got a center under control, but. Oh no, wait, I'm mixing up the team. No, we're doing really well. This is this is doing much better here. I'm getting. I was I was on the orange team, no one blue team. I'm and apparently kind of blind. Yay! Where do you think you're going? No. Okay, good job. No way, you don't have. To, you don't. You do. It's okay if your teammates get the kills. That's very helpful for you. As long as they are not. Inkini tough, you should be fine. Okay. Didn't get even know any ink yet. Nope, but my team are gone for me, so that's good as well. Yeah, I just I just suck with the ink jet. I don't think the ink jet is a good special, it's just not that easily accessible. I hate the ink jet, I Hey, I don't think the Ink Suka is fair, because at least the Ink Suka is slightly more accessible than the Ink Jet. At least, I think the Ink Suka has a better Wayne, honestly. Ah, now I know one is going on the hunt. Where'd you go? Oh, well, I'm covering all your turf anyway. Yo, these have got sun shots on there. Okay, did we won? Did we win that time? It sure looks like it. Excuse me. I know, yeah, instead of Judd himself calculating the results. So it's, instead, Judd will be representing your team, and they'll Judd will be representing the enemy team. Yeah, and. So yeah, and if your team wins, Judd will. proudly raise the flag, while little Judd will just collapse in defeat. And the enemy team wins, little Judd will proudly raise the flag, while Judd. Or was indeed so in other words, little Judge is evil. 
Oh my god. Okay, so here we are with the last friend of the splatter shot. The Kenza splatter shot. Oh how fancy. Fancy Patsy. So yeah, and yeah, I'm sorry for some reason the wasabi splash shot doesn't return in this game. I miss you, Wasabi Splash Up. Anyways, the Kenta. I bought the one page. Uh, here we go. The Kenta Splatter splash Shot. You unlock this at level 6. It comes with a suction bomb and tented missiles. It costs 5,300 coins to purchase. And this points to for special is 180 points. So yeah, it has suction bombs, which are basically like splat bombs, but stronger and take longer to detonate, as always. And yeah, tender missiles, which is kind of the first special we see in Octave Canyon. But you activate it, try to target as many opponents as you can, and unleash the missile. So I'm on my horn straight to you, and hopefully you either splat done or at least please strike them. I love the 10 muscles. I think the 10 muscles might be my favorite weapon in the game. They cover turf, they just they at least distract your teammates, and you just get so much control with these 10 muscles. It's amazing. Oh, it's one anyway. Let's unleash my 10 muscles again. Do we? The 10 muscles are more effective the closer you are to your own spawn. So make sure you mind that. Heck, super jump straight to your own spawn, and then unleash 10 muscles from there to get. Yeah. The Tempest are definitely really help very helpful in vertical maps like this one. Not so much on horizontal maps, because then the play the playing area is so wide, Ten Muscles is unable to lock onto all of them. I think the only only way to expand is the circular range is double. The only way to expand your vertical with the Ten Muscles is by using Special power up here. So yeah, special seems one new abilities. There's also main power that pay powers up your main weapon. So it doesn't tell specifically how powers your weapon or all specials for that map, for the other one. So you have to look it off in the internet and no, just no. So yeah, and. You're probably wondering where's the damage up and where's the defense up. Well, guess what? In Splatoon 2, there is no damage up and there is no defense up anymore. Which, thank freaking god. Thank god, damage up is no longer a thing since. Since that's what people like to do is an awful lot back in Splatoon 1, especially with their charges and their blasters. People say that main power up is basically the replacement for damage up, but. Maybe, but again, that week's main power up is as effective as damage up was. There you go. And just for consistency's sake, I'll play one more match with the Kansas Splash Shot. Oh, okay, yeah, ma the last lap. I forgot to mention the last lap. The last lap we just played on, that last lap was actually called Manta Ruia, and that was the, the ship base stage that I mentioned. So yeah, and also since you, I obviously don't have a gamepad to look down anymore, in order to work in the map, you actually gotta press the... What's it, the X button or the Y button? Anyways, here the, on this map the Ted Puzzles would be so helpful. Oh god, baller! Okay, got splat, that's nice. Okay, there's an auto bomb behind me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, it might be the X one now. I think about to build your map. See, that's how you basically look at the map. You build the X one. No, it's building the map. You gotta press the X one, and it'll take out the whole your screen. Screen might still do well. And so, yeah, building the map between two. It's definitely a lot worse than it was between one. Just looking down the game, I see where X one is. It's definitely a lot more helpful. Helpful in Splatoon 1. In Splatoon 2, we got the map 
like here. It's a pretty, it's a pretty cool stop. Stop the entire tree screen, which you're supposed to look, at, look into. And honestly, that's a game design change that we're not a fan of. I feel we're much better today. Pretty much, we were much better they put the map in like the lower right corner of the screen, honestly, or the top left. Okay, here's the explorer, and I'm just getting decimated here. Yeah, oh god, I'm getting, ma I'm getting back to the map control, that's not good. We need to get back. And one of my teammates got splat again. Well, looks like this is falling apart. It's an ink storm and an auto bomb. Ugh. To push us back. Can I use it with you? Yes, I can. There's probably another guy on that, isn't there? No? Oh, yes, there is. There's the same freaking splatling. Go, no, no. Switch up! Oh, that was too close. Oh, uh, that'll do. And we're losing this. Great. Looks like we're in this on a sour note here. Come on, where's the map control? Okay. Come on, let's quickly cover this up before they come back. Oh, too late. Ugh. Yeah, we lost this. Well, that sucks. Well. So yeah, overall, the splash shot is just painfully average. It's good, good to practice getting good at the game, no doubt about it. But honestly, there's way other better weapons to lose in the splash shot. I prefer the Julia, I prefer the Elspray, I prefer the Enza, Splash of Manic. Yeah. Okay, so it's Tali now. Good lord. Um Okay, shut up about sands already. Shut up. Okay. B plus. X, why aren't you wanked? Uh, you don't even have a wanked? Okay. Buy your second account. I don't know. What about you? S. Why aren't you wanked? Uh, I think it's. Is it everyone? Yep. Yeah. Well, next time on Let's Play Splatoon 2, shall we be looking. using the Splash Up Pro. So, spoiler who? And I'll see you next time. Play, people.